up, NPL fans? Shadia, coach of Bayern Munich, and welcome to the NPL Season 6, Week 4. My second week as a coach, the team's third game, even though it's the fourth week. Yeah, that's mildly confusing. <laughs> so, um, after last week's pretty, pretty big, but uh, honestly expected loss, um, this week we're trying to bounce back against Sepp, top tier boy, and his Florida for Alligators. It's not going to be an easy task as he's a phenomenal player with a very, very strong draft. I think uh, some people actually think that he has the best draft, which is a definitely a fair opinion. Um, and yeah, that's definitely a challenge. Uh, as, as always, his link will be in the description below. Make sure to check him out. As I said, fantastic player uh, and you definitely don't want to miss his NPL content. Uh, as well as the NPL YouTube channel, that's also in there, and the NPL Twitter, make sure to follow and subscribe to both of those, because the NPL content on the channel is pretty damn good. Um, shout out to Vert and all the other analysts, you're doing great work there, kiddo kiddos. <laughs> uh, and you know, the Twitter for all kinds of updates that you might want and need from the NPL. So, uh, I th also, of course, the graphics artists link to Bird and other people are all there as well, make sure to check them out. Show them some love for doing all this great, great work with the graphics and stuff. So, with all, all this, like with all that stuff out of the way, let's just get into the team matchup. Uh, my team, actually, I actually made some transfers, so I should go over those as well. There's a lot of things to go over. Um, first things first, uh, I dropped Crabominable for Raichu, my first free agent that I've used of my two that every team gets. Um, Crabominable is an absolute fucking piece of garbage, and... Raishu adds, as you can see, a very important speed tier to my team, as otherwise I'd have a speed cap of 100 to 121, and that's just not acceptable. So, Raishu gives me that. Uh, it gives me an electric type, which I didn't have. It gives me a pretty okay electric type. Like, Raishu isn't the worst. Um, you know, it's not Electivire. Just kidding, Electivire is actually pretty okay in draft. Anyway, um, yeah, it gives me a good speed tier. It gives me a very good Z move user, in my opinion, uh, as Raishu has a fair amount of decent coverage moves that are decently strong so with z-moves they become very very strong the only problem is that Raichu itself is kind of weak so with z-moves I can power those up for sure uh, and make a thing a little bit more of a threat another flying resist which I now have three uh, as you can see there's another transfer that we'll go into in a sec uh, in, as opposed to the original zero that Joey drafted <laughs> so we're making progress in that regard uh, Raichu also just give me another self with more momentum just things that I like in general so uh, got a little bit of a volt turn, parting shot, core with torn teal, so value right. Just have all three of those momentum gaining moves on my draft. That's pretty cool. And Baton has on Mega Medi as well. So we got we got all the initiative moves, <laughs> which is pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, that's that. Next up, I decided to trade uh, a little Magwack to my buddy Trev CL um, and his Braveries Atlanta Braveries. Uh, that, yeah, that's, that's right. I'm not stupid. <laughs> I am, but not not the point. Uh, a little Magwack. To him and he gave me Silvalli and said I really wanted Mimikyu off of him he, he can't part with Mimikyu it's not possible he loves it too much Mimikyu would have fit my team so so well finally giving me a fairy um, but with Silvalli you have the option of running the, uh, the fairy memory uh, as I as you can probably imagine I get all types because any other Silvalli is essentially useless <laughs> um, so yeah that's, that's pretty cool uh, I can get creative with that bring the um, proper type in the uh, upcoming weeks and have some fun with that thing. It's definitely going to be a bit of a pain in the ass to prep for my opponents, and that's always fun. Uh, and then last but not least, the probably by far most interesting trade of this NPL season so far. Um, I more jokingly than anything offered uh, Cloud from New Jersey Dwebbles to trade uh, my fortress for Skarmory. However, he was very happy to do that as he's a big lover of Fortress and I am not complaining because Skarmory is a very, very fucking good Pokemon. A huge asset to my team. It means that I don't have to rely on Rapid Spin from, for for from Fortress to get rid of Hazards. It means I can safely defog. Uh, while that you know, makes it harder for me to Hazard stack, it also means I don't have to worry about fucking Ghost types um, Spinboking and dev Deviling fuck out of Fortress. So that's cool. Um, and just... Uh, Phenomenal physical wall. P2 plus Skarm is just a really good core. Add Tangrowth. Uh, yeah, that's pretty spicy. So, <laughs> that's that's a pretty cool 3 Mon core essentially. And then I can, you know, pick and choose what else I also want to add uh, and make other things defensive. So, that's cool. Uh, Skarmory, you know, Spike Stack, Rubber Stealth Rocker. Basically, the same, th same thing as Fortress. Just a little better, in my opinion. Uh, and yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. So, uh, after that, we'll. 
It's already five minutes in. Haven't talked about this this week's matchup yet. So, uh, as a top tier boy, Seps team uh, is on your screen. Tapu Fini, Mega Scizor, Tyranitar, Raikou. Okay. <laughs> Gliscor, Amoongus, Zyga 10%, Zydog, uh, Zydog or whatever. Volcarona, Lycanroc, Slowbro, Lycanroc, like Midday, the not shit one. Uh, Slowbro and Azelf. His Z-move users being, as you can see, Titar, Raikou, and Volcarona. So that's a very, very threatening uh, th draft, that's the word. Um, he built very well around Tapu Fini. Uh, he even drafted another water type to, um, you know, put a little, get a little bit of pressure off, on that, off of that thing. And it's overall a very, very solid draft. A very scary team. However, offensively, I think I have a phenomenal matchup, as he doesn't have good answers to most of my offensive threats. Man, if we can kind of just dougie on him if uh, you know the right circumstances on the right circumstances uh, Torrenty does a ton of work to his team a life of variant just kind of shreds his team uh, as Raikou doesn't want to take a superpower and Tita certainly doesn't want to take one either and everything else doesn't want to take a hurricane so that's really cool even I guess Lycanroc can kind of live a hurricane but it dies to superpower so that's all fine and dandy uh, so if I'm in range you're still taking the Celebrock everything is fine um, Mammoth Swine is also a massive threat to his team uh, as you can see over here I think you can still see it yeah uh, he's very weak to ground he only has Azelf and Gliscor as immunities and no resists so ground types are really good against his team as Gliscor isn't reliable obviously not especially not against Mamoswine um, so that's definitely a really cool thing to keep in mind as I can just spam Earthquake relatively freely against this draft uh, especially if he doesn't bring Azelf I don't see Gliscor coming uh, it doesn't do enough against my team I, I don't see what he would bring it for necessarily like it deals with Drapion. That's pretty much it. Kind of Tyrantrum. So like, it doesn't do enough, in uh, my opinion. So uh, definitely one of the less uh, likely ones for him to bring, in my opinion. Um, Mega Man Champ as well. <laughs> he does not have a good switch into Mega Man Champ. Um, if I run an Adam and Thunder Punch variant, Slowbro and Tepofini both get to be killed by that. And everything else just gets shredded by either a high jump kick or ice punch so that's pretty fucking spicy even Rokorona uh, dies to has a chance to die f uh, to an adamant high jump kick if he's uninvested so <laughs> that's pretty ridiculous so Mega Man Chen does ton of work and another one is uh, Tyrantrum as his rock resist is Zygarde 10% that is his only rock resist so <laughs> um, a banner Tyrantrum gets kill as soon as on the field something dies guaranteed so that's something to keep in mind that's something that he has to prep for however I'm not bringing Tyrantrum which is a pretty big deal um, as he has to prep for it he has to work his ways around uh, Tyrantrum and uh, you know that's definitely an advantage for me and however he still has big big threats to my team this is not an unwinnable matchup for him by any stretch of the imagination offensively he has a pretty good matchup as well uh, as Mega Scissor caused my team a lot of trouble uh, offensive Tapu Fini even caused me trouble if I don't bring P2. Um, Tita and Raikou are always threats, uh, and Raikou he can easily run a Rash or a Sphere variant against my team, as he still speeds my base 100s, and Raichu just isn't threatening to a Raikou unless I run Z Dig, which is possible but unlikely, and he would probably scout for that as well. So, yeah, which I guess would be a decent bring, I definitely considered that. Uh, for a brief second because as I said it seems fairly grown weak, but it's just it's not happening <laughs> So uh, yeah, you can have to bring rash for and hit my mouse went up with that aura sphere. That's unfortunate And even if he doesn't bring it, he's definitely gonna be a shiny Raikou as no doubt in my mind, but he is 90% bringing aura sphere so um, and then Other things like and rock and Tita are both threatening to my team as my rock resist is mega magem So I'm fairly weak to rock as well uh, and then another, the biggest one by far in my opinion, obviously Azelf is a big threat as well, I don't have a good switch in outside of P2 and Drapion, which I'm both not bringing, so uh, Azelf is definitely going to be a problem this week, but I have to see how I deal with that. Uh, and then the biggest threat by far is Volcarona, as my team doesn't have a good answer to Volcarona at all. Uh, AV20 can kind of deal with it, um, but that's just a kind of, <laughs> and I would also have to bring AV20, which is not... Not my preferred set in this matchup, and everything else kind of either gets you know shredded or set up on barring P2, which could beat it. But if he's like a sub variant, I guess, then I I can't beat it. So that's unfortunate. Uh, and the only answer that I have on my team, as you will see, 
is is this guy Terminator. So we'll, we'll see. Uh, so that's that's a quick look at the match. I say quick. Let's <laughs> look at the match. Let's get into the team that I'm bringing. And as you can see, yes, I I know you see a little treat I got for you all at the end of the team. Uh, we'll get into that when the time comes. But first, I will bring in our captain, Tiny Blue, the Man of Fear, of course, as always. Uh, this week with the Wacom Berry, Hydration, Tegel, Scald, Energy Ball, Ice Beam, Max Speed, Max Special Attack, Timid, Force, but F. The most standard Man of Fear possible. There is just, yeah, <laughs> pretty much the most standard one. I guess Wacom Berry is not the most standard one, but in draft, it's fairly, fairly expectable. So, um, yeah, this thing as that can do a ton of work to his team. Uh, he can easily vote switch out on Raikou, but I am kind of leaning towards him bringing a Calm Mind Raikou, if I'm being honest. Uh, I saw a couple, I think I saw two in my three mocks, could be wrong. Uh, but I definitely saw it in my mocks, and I think that's a very strong set against my team. Um, so Sub Calm Mind is definitely impossible to bring for him. The only th reason he wouldn't bring that is Tangrel, so that's, you know, I think that's the main reason he wouldn't bring it at least. So that's entirely possible that he wouldn't bring that. He also might want AV so he can take Torn T on a little bit better. But, uh, Tangle of Manaphy can definitely put in a ton of work late game. Uh, even if Raikou votes which is out of me, I get a kill if I'm at plus 3, so that's cool. I can sell one slow, I can sell one top of Finny. Uh, not reliably, but I can. Uh, Mega Scissor potentially. And just in general, it, I don't get many great setup opportunities. But, uh, just having the threat of Tangle of Manaphy is great this game. Um, and if Raikou is gone, uh, the thing just puts in so much work. I also need to make sure that he doesn't have, preferably doesn't have, two fast Pokemon left. I don't want him to have Raikou and Azel, for example, left, because then they can both hit me with strong moves, I'm gonna fucking die, and uh, the Wacom Berry's not gonna save me at that point. Um, so that's, that's, that's definitely worth noting. Um, also worth mentioning is that with the Wacom Berry, I can take a uh, Gigavolt Havoc from Raikou. So that's cool, even if he does bring the Z-move, well, good in that regard. Uh, I take a million, but I live, so that's cool. Uh, so yeah. Man, if he's pretty sad, there's not much to go over. Ng Ball for Finny and Solo Ice Beam for the Amoongus. And I uh, want Ice Beam over uh, Psychic, which would also obviously hit Amoongus. Um, just be like, I think Yachi Berry would be the more likely one on Amoongus if he were to bring a berry. So I could bring Psychic to counteract that. But Ice Beam gives me the ability to Oko Zyga 10% if he decides to bring it. I don't expect it. I think it's one of his less threatening offensive monsters because I have a Tangle which hard walls it. I have Mammoth one which can at any point in time just ice shards face off. Um, and like in general I just don't think Zyga 10% is the greatest bring. Uh, like it, it's not a bad Pokemon against my team because it's just a phenomenal Pokemon. But I just think that he has much much better offensive options against me. So that's that. Uh, just a quick look over Manaphy and yeah. Next up we have Nam the Mega Meta Cham with, you know, the Magic Might and Pupil, obviously. High Jump Kick, Ice Punch, Thunder Punch, and Fake Out. Max Tech Adamant, 96 HP, 160 speed. Um, yeah, so, why am I running Adamant, even though he has Volcarona? Well, because I want to kill shit. <laughs> if I'm Jolly, I have a very, very slim chance of tweet killing a Leftovers variant of Slowbro. Um, if I'm Adamant, however, I have a 96, I think, percentage of tweet killing it. So that's pretty cool. Uh, of course, if I get a Brox, then... Those are uh, different roles, but uh, still, I definitely want to be adamant. Definitely want to uh, pretty much ensure a tree kill on Slowbro, and it's worth it, I think. It also gives me the option of running a little bit more bulk, which can definitely come in clutch in this game. As, um, like, taking a hit from Slowbro or Type of Fini, if necessary at any point, can be crucial, as well as taking a hit from Raikou. Uh, and I can also take a Fire Blast from Volcarona, so even if I. Uh, half the matchup, Mega Champ vs. Volcarona, I can stay in, just to fire off a high jump kick, do a million damage to it, and put it in range for Mammoth Swain's Ice Shard. So, that's definitely um, something worth mentioning, and Mega Matchup just, threat, uh, just threatens this entire team a lot. Uh, if I come in on something like Amoongus, something is dying, essentially. Uh, fake, I opted to go with Fake Out in the last moves that offers a Headbutt or Bullet Punch, uh, because it hits his offensive threats, all of them, uh, that are faster than me. For more damage than um, Bullpunt would, uh, those being R Raikou <laughs> and Volcarona. Volcarona and Raikou are both the biggest threats, and I want to hit them with a fake out because that does more than Bullet Punch, obviously. Uh, the only problem is obviously, you know, it can only hit it once on the first turn, but uh, I definitely think that having the, the stronger priority against those two big threats is uh, more important. I would love to have Bullet Punch as well, but I, I you can't have them all. I could not run Ice Punch because I'm not expecting Glyscope, but I think that would be a little bit too risky as my team 
that I ended up bringing didn't have as much to deal with uh, guys as I had in my main initial team. Uh, I went I think like four variations of my team, which is quite a lot for me because I usually have, have like one team. I just change things mildly. I start rebuilding a team multiple times, which is not something I tend to do. So yeah, was was a little bit of a of an act. Uh, next up, we have Steady Wonder Detangled with the Salt Blast Regenerator as the ability, of course. Uh, Power Web Rocks are HP Fire, Giga Drain, Max HP, 188 Spadef, Assassinator, and 68 Special Attack. Um, very self explanatory Tangled set. Uh, the Special Attack Investment allows me to 2 KO. I think that is the standard bulky Mega Scissor spread, guaranteed HP Fire. So, unless he's like a basically careful Max Max set, I 2 KO. With HP fires, that's pretty cool. Rockside Oko's Uninvested Lock Runner. The min roll is 99%, so I have a mild chance of not killing him, but we're just gonna hope that doesn't happen. Um, and yeah, Tangrowth gives me a good switch on top of Finny. Uh, I say good, decent switch on top of Finny. Good switch into Slowbro, uh, unless he's a offensive fire blast variant that could definitely suck a lot. Um, and it gives me a check to Tita, a check to Raikou, uh, most, most importantly. Um, and a way of, of course, if you bring Zygote, this thing was it, and I have to bring it for that as well. Uh, and it can, can, can take any hit from Lycanroc and Azelf and fire back with appropriate grass moves. The reason I'm running, po I'm running Power Whip uh, over just Giga Drain, oh, excuse me, over running uh, Earthquake as well, is because it's still 2 kills Raikou. Uh, he has to bring unrested, like, un no bulk investment Raikou, essentially, unless he wants to la uh, miss out on special attack investment. Because he's gonna be rash. There's no doubt in my mind he's gonna be ra rash or a sphere variant. And in order to speed my best 100s in form of Mega Manage, manage Jam, um, he needs to be max speed. So there's no, there's gonna be no fat Raikou. Uh, at least I don't think there will be. <laughs> so uh, Power Guarantee 2 KOs that. Uh, Rock Slide Oko is going as a set. So, uh, but the other reason running Power Web is because Call Mine Top of Finny and Call Mine Slower are pretty big threats to my team. And if I'm just running Giga Drain, they're going to set up on me, on me for days, and I, there's not much I can do in that regard. So, uh, Power Web is pretty cool for that. Um, and yeah, of course, if I get Sculpt by that kind of sucks, but you know, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. it. Like, basically, I don't need Earthquake. Power Web was definitely the best move I could take on there, so we, we did that. Uh, next up, we have Erigor the Torrenty. Another one that gave me a bit of a headache. <laughs> Life Orbs Regenerator, Hurricane Superpower, U Turn, and Heat Wave. 160 HP, 132 Special Attack, 216 Speed with a hasty nature. That speed allows me to add speed scarf Titar. Uh, shout out to my front office for mentioning that I didn't do that, which I thought I did. I didn't. I had 8 speed DVs to. I, I was lacking 8 speed DVs because I was only at speeding space 115s. And I thought I was creeping scarf tar. Basically, I fucked up, and someone was like, yo. You're speeding that, right? And I double checked and I was like, nope, I'm not. So, shout out to that. Um, <laughs> basically, also shout out to Divert, by the way, for helping me helping with the seam a little bit. Um, giving me some thoughts on my squad, the original squad I had. It helped me rethink, think, rethink things a little bit. So, there's that. So, uh, 20, yeah. This HP investment means I have a fairly good chance of living a plus one Fire Blast from Volcarona. Uh, he has, I think, a 30% of Oko in me. I didn't want to lose out a more special attack essentially because I didn't want to be world's weakest 20. So that is that. I uh, also didn't want to be Salt Vest, so I wanted to be alive over just hit, hit shit hard basically. So uh, Hurricane Superpower, U turn Heat Wave, pretty self explanatory. Uh, Superpower destroys, doesn't destroy, but there's a ton to Tita, there's a ton to Raikou with Oko's Lycan Rock. Um, Hurricane is just general stab and spam, very, very spammable move against this team. Uh, U turn for momentum and hitting Azelf and Titar. If necessary, and heat wave for the Mega Scizor, as Mega Scizor is a pretty fucking big threat to my team. I want to be able to have something that reliably hits it and reliably destroys it, and that's heat wave. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Taunty just outspeeds the entire team, which is very, very handy, uh, including, as I said, Scarf Tar, and that's his most likely Scarf against my team by far. His only, like, like Scarf, unless I guess Scarf Azelf is possible. But very unlikely. I think Scarf Tar, if anything. Yeah, it's Sonti. Not too much to go over. I'm gonna have to go a little quicker. It's already 20 minutes and there's no game happening. Jesus Christ, I'm the worst. Next up, we have John Babe, the Mammoth Swine. Uh, choice Band, Thick Fat, Earthquake, Ice Shot, Stealth Rock, Knockoff, Max, uh, not Max Tech, 240 Attack, Adamant, 32 HP, 44 Defense, 192 Speed. 
uh, as an adamant. So, uh, basically, as I said, Earthquake is incredibly spammable against my against this team. Earthquake, I sort of pretty much the only two needs, moves I need. Then I need Stealth Rock on this team. Uh, and Knockoff is just a spammable move, of course, because it's Knockoff. Uh, because I can get rid of items on things like Typo Finny and, um, and, and, and Typo Finny. <laughs> and Slowbro, of course. And it's also my only way of actually 2 KO on Slowbro, because even Adamant Choice Bandit Earthquake doesn't 2 8 KO that monster, which is ridiculous. Um... Assuming he is max defense, which he more than likely is going to be. Uh, so knockoff is just good for that. Uh, stealth rock, because stealth rocks are fucking great. And his only form of hazard removal is defog. So if he wants to get rid of uh, hazards for his Volcarona, he's going to get rid of his own. And that's good. I can rely on him getting rid of hazards this week. Because he's going to bring Volcarona and it's going to be a threat. And he's going to want to get rid of rocks for it. So I don't have to bring removal of my own. That's pretty cool. Um, and yeah, the bulk investment on this... Uh, by, the, by the way, I should mention the speed here on this was to outspeed max speed mega scissor. So, pretty sure. So, that's that. Um, this is enough for. I don't know. Uh, Adamant mega scissor, I think. Pretty sure it's Adamant mega, mega scissor. Um, been a while since I built this. Uh, or Jolly Kita. Either or. Uh, HP investment and defense investment means I can live a max attack Adamant bull punch for mega scissor as the South Rocks. If that is necessary for some reason, uh, I can take that, like, I, I'm not losing much, I'm losing 12 attack EVs. That's not gonna cost me anything, hopefully. Uh, so, it's worth running that a little bit of uh, bulk investment there, and taking that shit. So, uh, now we have those five boring Pokemon out of the way, let's get into the star of the show. So, uh, every team I built, and I had, I think I had every Pokemon on my draft on the team at some point, barring Drapion and Raichu. Yes. Everything was on my team. I had a spicy Skarm set, um, P2 was there, Scarf Tyrantrum was there, uh, but I always struggled with Volcarona, Mega Scizor, and Raikou. Those three were always massive threats to my draft and my team. So, I opted that I realized that there's only one Pokemon that can save me from, especially Volcarona, that's the main thing, while also checking the other two threats and making them a little bit more manageable. And also being a, a complete sleeper Pokemon for him. As, as I said, I have a pretty good matchup offensively. And he cannot prep for... Like, he can't sufficiently prep for everything. Just because of how good my matchup is. So, this is going to be the 100% sleeper Pokemon. The Pokemon he's more than likely not going to prepare for. Because he has much, much bigger threats to worry about. And then is the God. Terzinator. The greatest Pokemon... Not really. The, the Pokemon that is on my team. Not much more than that. So, uh, Terminator, as I said, it hard walls Volcarona. It can do nothing to it. He could bring HP ground. It is not happening. He's bringing uh, a grass move instead. There's there's no way he's bringing HP ground just for Terminator. I just don't think it's happening. Um, Mexisor can't touch me unless he has uh, superpower. And even then, I have EVs for that, which I'll get into in a second. Uh, and Raikou it can't touch me. He, he cannot bring... Hidden power ground or anything of the sort for Turtonita. It's not happening. I have other things that are more likely to be my Raikou answers that he needs to hit. So, not happening. So, uh, Rurok and Leftovers, Shalom, of course, because it's the only ability it gets. Fire Blast, Stone Edge, Earthquake, and Toxic. 248 HP, 112 defense, relaxed nature, and 148 special defense. Uh, this physical bulk investment means I can take an Adamant plus two superpower from Mega Scizor. After Stealth Rocks? Yeah, after Stealth Rocks. So, guarantee take that. And oh, obviously Oko and back with a Fire Blast. If that is necessary, turn it is there to save my save my day. So, Stone Edge uh, is of course to hit the Volcarona. And it Oko's Volcarona. It doesn't get the thing doesn't get Rock Side, but it gets Stone Edge at Head Smash. Don't ask me why. I don't understand, but we'll rock with it. <laughs> Fire Blast is actually <laughs> The sad thing is this thing does not treat kill Amoongus with Flamethrower if it's more Spadef Fang, which I'm definitely expecting. Um, so I have to run Fire Blast for that. Uh, Stone Edge, Oko's Volcarona. Earthquake is for the Raikou, so I can reliably hit that, even if he's a Calm Mind variant. I can do around half to it with Earthquake, which is pretty pathetic, but it does the job. And then last but not least, we have Toxic. Uh, I can't touch Top of Fini for life of me, there's no way I can. So, like, there's no, no move I can take on here. That would hit Tapu Fini, so I have to go Toxic instead to hit the Slowbro on the switch and to also hit Tita on the switch. And so um, those are little cool, 
cool things. They can also toxic uh, Raikou and Volcarona if that is necessary for some reason. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much that. Toxic is mainly for Slowbro. As I said, Command Slowbro is a massive threat to my team. Uh, and if I can toxic it on the Switch, that's cool. I think the best thing he's going to have for Tertinator is either going to be Titar, uh, if he brings that, or the Slowbro. So, toxicing either one of them is going to be pretty spicy. Uh, as this draft in general just doesn't deal amazingly with the, with the turtle, so <laughs> it's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, my my throat is dying. Uh, this is the team, turtle that's coming. It's hopefully gonna save my ass. And yeah, I'm gonna real quick say what I'm expecting. Definitely expecting Mega Scizor, Volcorn, and Raikou are the, uh, the big threats to my team for sure. Uh, Slow Boy I think is definitely coming as well. Uh, and then it gets a little bit more tricky. I think Titar, Tapu Fini, uh, this is yeah, slow, bro. Azelf and the Moongus are all possible. I think uh, Lycanroc and Zygarde are, and Gliscor are all not coming. I don't think any of them is coming or are coming. Is coming? Whatever. English. Um, yeah, I think I'm leaning towards Azelf. Yeah, and then. Titar. Yeah. Yeah. Because Amoongus doesn't do much against a Tegelo Manaphy. Like, it's still just, it doesn't stop it. So, I think he doesn't need it necessarily. Uh, of course, it helps, but I don't think he necessarily needs it. Um, so, yeah. I like Those could all come, but I'm just leaning towards those six I just mentioned. And I'm going to pause, and then we'll finally get into the goddamn game. <laughs> okay, so. With the game, and as you can see, Sep decided to bring Slurbo, Raikou, Amoongus, Azelf, Volcarona, and Scizor. Uh, if you skip the team builder, which I will hopefully put a thing in the description, then um, you missed the team. But there is a turtle on your screen, so be happy. Uh, Tegel of Manaphy, Fake Out, 3 attacks, Medi, AV, AV the thing, Life Orb the thing, Bandit this guy. So, uh, <laughs> he did not bring Chapel Fini, he did not bring Titar, Gliscor. Zyga 10%, Lycanroc Midday, uh, and that's it. <laughs> so he didn't bring those five, which is pretty cool. He didn't bring his rock offense, which is pretty good for me, uh, since I am fairly rock weak, but I can definitely see why he wouldn't bring that. Uh, it's not his best option. It's just another option that he had for sure. Um, the most surprising thing that isn't there is probably Finny, but even that makes total sense. So uh, since Slowbro does similar jobs in this matchup. So that's pretty much that. Uh... I decide that my lead is gonna be Mammoth Swine. Uh, there's a good chance that he predicts my Torn T to be lead to be leading because it's a Torn T. It it leads. It's what it does. Um, and he needs with Raikou. That's entirely possible. And just in general, Mammoth Swine gives me a pretty good lead matchup against the majority of his mons. So I'm just gonna give with Mammoth uh, as he decides to live with Amoongus, which is an interesting lead. Later on, we will see why that is the case. Uh, so, I'm just going to fire up an Earthquake. I have no reason not to. As he goes into Zerd, that takes 63%. That tells me he is physically defensive. That's really important to know later on, for later on. So, right now, he knows I'm banned, so I'm going to switch out. Printing either Azelf. I'll print Azelf 100%. Uh, and potentially, if he goes slow, bro, I, this works too. If he does stay in, this works too. So, Torn T was just overall my best play for sure. Uh, if he goes to Raikou here, he is the greatest god of all time. And... I, I'm going down, but <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to pull a double SC, does go into his Azelf, that's fine, I can go for the U-turn, get some good damage off on the thing, pretty much, you know, knock it, pretty uh, pretty, pretty, pretty close to dying, essentially, uh, and he actually goes for the T-Bolt, or my Tangled, as it is my best switch into at this point, I know he can take a Fire Blast after this as well, however, he does opt to go for the knockoff, get rid of my assault, but good when his end, definitely, because now the thing can... Uh, this thing actually takes damage from Raikou, unlike before. So, I'm gonna knock the thing out with a Giga Rain, and Azelf already goes down. That was one of, that was a massive threat to my team for sure. So, here is the moon list. I can't touch the thing. I have to pick something to switch into, and that is definitely gonna be my Torn T, as it, it's probably a, one of the more expendable members of this team. But, I can also uh, burn into the sleep here as he goes in server. I can burn another one. But if he starts combining, I'm fine. I can, I have ways around it. So, uh, he goes into Raikou. I'm not, as I don't wake up, I'm not taking the risk <laughs> of waking up this turn. So I'm just going to go right into my tank growth. As he, as he fires the Shadow Ball, that does 27. So even with it out my Assault West, I still chew these hits. Um, and that's all fine dandy. I'm going to fire off the safe Power Whip. Uh, because, like, 
it's a safe play. I don't lose much if he goes to Moongus. He's not going Scizor, I don't think, on the potential HP Flyer. So, well, fine. I can go back into 20, burn another turn of sleep, and he brings he doubles into Raikou. Very, very good play on his end, definitely. Uh, and I'm gonna make a bit of a madman play here and stay in. Uh, as I figured, I would either wake up or he would over overpredict. Or both. Probably both. Um, I have Tangrowth and I have Mammoth Swine in the back. He cannot allow those free switch ins. Especially not Mammoth Swine. Tangrowth is more acceptable, but he's, he cannot allow Mammoth Swine a free switch in by going for the electric move right here. So uh, I'm going to stay in here, expect him to overpredict. Unfortunately, I don't wake up. He does go for Shadow Ball though, so we're fine in that regard. Risky play, and I'm going to make the same play going on the following turn. Say it again, go for the and get some chip damage off on Raikou, which is really, really important. I cannot let Raikou stay at full. That is absolutely in incredible and really annoying. So, this turn, I'm going to go into turn 8. As he goes for the Aura Sphere, um, and that's 28%. Turn 8 just doesn't care. Look at this the fucking monster. The monster has entered the field. Um, so, yeah, those are the, the middle ground play, essentially. And, yeah, so, uh, right here, I'm going to... Okay, this is, a, I guess, a bit of a... Toss up 50 50, whatever you want to call it. Uh, as he has nothing for Terminator. Looking at, like, it was one of the things I'm, uh, I realized a team matchup. He has nothing for Terminator. He didn't prep for it as expected. Uh, because, you know, I have much, much bigger threats to worry about for him. Uh, especially when he has such a mediocre matchup. So, uh, he, yeah, he didn't, he didn't bring it. He didn't bring anything for it. So, uh, there's a good chance that he might just want to go for Volt Switch here, trying to weaken my Terminator. Uh, as much as possible, even though it's it's minimal uh, damage, it is something. Any damage is good damage. So, um, I kind of feel like he might go for Volt Switch, and if I can catch him on a Volt Switch, Memo Swine comes in, I click Knock Off, and something dies because Scizor has been weakened sufficiently. So, um, I'm going to make the play into my um, Memo Swine here. As, however, he does make the much, much better play, honestly, of going into Slowbro. Uh, if I were to go for Toxic, that would be nice, but I opted not to do that. So I'm going to have to get out of here. I don't want to take a Skull to the face. And he goes for the Calm Mind as he goes in Tangrowth. So if I were to go for a knockoff there, that would have been great, but I, I couldn't risk it. Absolutely not. So I'm going to go for Power Whip here. Uh, show him that I can do some damage still. As he's going to reveal another, go for another Calm Mind. And he's going to reveal Protect, which is a very, very interesting bring. So he might not have slack off or he's mono skull which i don't expect um so that protect is obviously well not obviously more than likely there for uh, mega man champ so you can switch in uh and take two thunder punches off the protect and lefties so that's pretty cool bring on his end definitely i like that uh, i just don't think i personally enjoy call mine without slack off but uh, definitely a very cool bring on his end uh so i'm just gonna fire off your save gigadrain this turn uh, because if you want to with, uh, with slow brawl I'm winning that match more than likely. If not, I'm bringing. Well, basically, all I need to do is keep him low. If I leave, if I keep that thing low, I can come in with my swine. I say low. If I keep the thing weakened, <laughs> I can come in with my swine and just knock it out with a bandit knockoff. So, uh, once again, he brings in the Moongus. I go into Torrenty, and this is where I wish I brought safety goggles. Was considering it, but I just I don't think Moongus was likely enough for me to warrant bringing it. So I get stun sport, which means this is also now a very good switch into sport. It means he can't put anything else to sleep. That's pretty spicy. Uh, and I'm gonna fire off the hurricane here. I get paralyzed. So, <laughs> however, he stays in, which means he is more than likely Cobra Berry. There is no way, I'm, like there is no way he's staying in if he isn't Cobra. So I'm gonna turn out, get some damage off on the thing, expecting him to switch out, but he does not. I go into Memo knowing that I can take a sludge bomb reasonably well, obviously because I resist, uh, and I still have a chance of living or I think. I think I actually guaranteed live one. I remember. Uh, basically, I can still potentially live an Aura Sphere after the Sludge Bomb damage. So, um, and obviously, I just I get a kill. So, uh, he goes this one. Unfortunately, he does get the poison though. So, <laughs> Aura Sphere now kills me, and I have to play carefully with that. Uh, definitely gonna be a problem, and I should stop pausing so much. So, this turn I make a mild misplay. I should definitely go for knockoff, but up to go for the uh, for the earthquake, and that does nothing. That's adamant choice bandit. It's fucking Slowbro is too bulky. So. Once again, I'm going to make the safe play into my Tangrowth right here as he just pulls the double into his Scizor. Uh, I don't care though. I'm not letting this thing heal. I'm clicking HP Fire. Your thing's not healing on me. He goes for U-turn and goes back out into Moongus. This is just rinse repeat of the fat 
grass regenerator monsters that no one likes to play. I'm gonna switch out of here. Like going back into my torn tea because it's it's gonna have merry time essentially. <laughs> I'm gonna fire off your hurricane this turn, and as you will see, he is in fact Cobra Berry, so that's why he led with it, trying to bait my torn tea turn one, trying to spore it or stun spore it. Uh, definitely a very good start on his end, but I didn't. It worked out later on, just not at the start, I guess. So, uh, this turn I'm gonna fire off a... I think I went for a Heat... Yeah, I went for Heat Wave here because it, it guaranteed hits Amoongus if you were to say and try to sack it. Uh, unlikely, but it also does a little bit more to the Raikou, does it? Yeah, it does. <laughs> so, yeah, overall just a safe move to hit. But unfortunately, I get paralyzed again because Taunty is bad. So, <laughs> um, yeah. Now I go into my Tangrowth as he goes for the Volt Switch. Uh, this is just... Rinse repeat, but this time he brings in Volcarona, and this is time for I, I should stop pause. This is time for Turn to come in. I took some damage, but I'm still in shape to take the thing on. And he goes for a sub now. If he's fizz death, I I don't break a sub with earthquake, which is absolutely ridiculous. But uh, since he is sub, there's no way he is. Um, I think he's gonna be fire blast plus grass move. So uh, as you can see by him going for fire blast, he is probably dead set and covered ends of course. So. Um, that damage is also just in range for him being um, being unvested, so he could still be like a fat variant. So I don't want an earthquake itself for a while. So this turn, he's not staying in. He's 100% going into slow roll. As I said, he doesn't have much for Turtonator, if anything. So he's definitely going into slow roll. And if I toxic this thing on the switch, everything is great. I didn't show toxic yet, so you might think this is a safe switch in. However, it is not. I get the toxic off and so on, and that is absolutely huge while also gaining leftovers recovery on the guard. So, um, yeah, all fine and good. Uh, all fine? Yeah, whatever. I go into Tangrowth here as he makes the read of going into Amoongus. Uh, that sucks, but, you know, I opt to go for the Empower. Just get some damage off as he goes for Sludge Bomb Loading and take that. I'm fine with that. Uh, yeah, I just want to, you know, keep things low. If everything is low, my life is easier. So, this time I go into Torrenti. He goes for Gig Grand in case I want to go into Mammo. Entirely, likely, entirely, um, reasonable play and I think I go for a U-turn hurricane I don't know but I get paralyzed again because Torrenti is actually the worst Pokemon in the game uh, and this turn I opt to go into my Turtonator knowing that Volt Switch is probably coming not doing anything because Turtonator is the greatest so he brings in Slowbro once again uh, and Regenerator is just a really fun ability in it so <laughs> I go into Tangrowth he goes for Psychic that does a good chunklet uh, because I don't have my Saltless anymore, obviously, and I'm gonna double out, right, right, okay, right, yeah, uh, right here, I made the aggressive play of predicting the Amoongus to come in, um, because if my mansion's in, something is dropping, essentially, um, and he goes for Protect right here, so, we know his full set, which I didn't mention before, he is, um, Scald, Psychic, Protect, I think, do we see, I think we saw Scald, um, Protect and Calm Mind, so, interesting set, I like it. I personally wouldn't dare bring in Calm Mind without Slack Off. <laughs> but definitely a very, very cool set. Um, and right here, I, s I decided, fuck it. Time to make the risk, time to take the risk of getting Skull Burnt. Let's rely on luck. You know, I've gotten, <laughs> gotten pretty unlucky this game. Not that it matters too, too much. It's just little annoyances and not getting damage off Raikou, which I would have loved. Um, I'm going to take this. I'm going to go for the Thunder Punch here. He could switch into anything, sack off Megasus or something of the sort, but I'm just gonna fire off the Thunder Punch. He does stay in. Uh, he takes that 52%. He goes for the Scald. He crits me, but he doesn't burn me. So a crit is really, really unfortunate, but uh, it's better than a burn. So this turn I'll make a silly play of going for Ice Punch in case he wants to go Raikou or something. Stupid play, don't like it, not great. So uh, he goes to Mega Scizor. I go for a Jump Kick, knowing I can live a Bull Punch. Uh, because he is fully fizz death, knowing, knowing from that earthquake damage earlier. So, that thing is done. We're up 6 4. Look, things are looking pretty good. So, he brings in Raikou, uh, and I bring in my Tangrowth. You know, <laughs> it's just it's just gonna happen a lot. And he crits me. So, thankfully, he didn't get Spideff Drop, though. So, it's all fine. This is not too, too bad still. Um, <laughs> it's just, this, is a little, this is a little funny how unlucky I get. So, uh, he goes into his uh, Moongus as I fire off a Power Whip. Do a clean 10%. And I'm going to see and go for another power up in case he wants to double and sack off my Tangrowth. This is things like, you know, this is getting into the late game. So Tangrowth is going to go down here. I felt like uh, I could afford that. Raikou, 
uh, is still at good amount of health, but I think I can afford it with Terminator being alive, Mamoswine being alive with Ice Shard, having fake on Mega Medicham. So I felt like I, that was definitely a respectable play. And now we can go into Mamoswine and I have 500 Earthquake and something dies. That something turns out to be a Moongus. So uh, we're up 5 3 now. However, the sacking isn't quite over yet. He goes into Raikou. I definitely want to keep my Mamoswine for the Ice Shard on this Raikou. So. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm gonna go into 20, the best Raikou counter in the game, and just sacked it off as well uh, to the Thunderbolt. So 20 goes down. It was it was useful. It was a pivot. And now, uh, so basically at this point, uh, it's very much looking like it's my game if I don't fuck it up, which is entirely possible. Uh, like he he can still win definitely, but he has to play out of his skin, and I have to play pretty badly. I have put myself in a really good position. Um, yeah, stuff and things. I'm gonna go to my Mega Man Champ. I want damage off on this fucking Raikou. This thing is an absolute fucking obnoxious piece of shit, and I want to get damage off on it with a fake off. Uh, put it in range of Ice Shot, which means he can't spam electric moves anymore at all, because if I go Memo, I click Ice Shot, he dies. Um, I also have to make sure that Zorbo doesn't heal up. Actually, I don't have to worry about that. Why did I say that? He doesn't have Slack off. So at this point, Slowbro is not a problem, I just don't, I can't give it regenerator too much. I can't give it very, very free switch-ins. Because then it's going to get regen back, and that's just not fun. So I can't, I, like, locking myself into Ice Punch, uh, Ice, Ice Punch, Ice Shard, can definitely be a problem late game. So, uh, I have to go into Mega Magnum here, go for the fake, I'll get damage off on Raikou as he goes into Volcarona. That takes around 33%. Uh, right here, I actually don't calc because I'm bad. This was the one turn where I didn't calc. So, stupid, but uh, Terminator is right here, it's right there to save the day, uh, and Fire Blast does nothing. So, uh, with Terminator is still healthy at 66%, this is really, really good. Uh, and Terminator is the win kind at this point. I'm just gonna fire off the Stone Edge, for, uh, go for the save move, um, because it's gonna do damage to Raikou. Slowbro is not uh, healthy anyway, so it's all fine. Uh, as he does go into Slowbro, he's the only thing that can take a hit from Terminator, and that does 10%. <laughs> 10. But he takes toxic damage, um, you know, only 6%, but he does take it. And I'm gonna make the switch into my Mammal Swine here. Because if, like, okay, <laughs> this is interesting. So, um, basically, Turtonator wins if Silbro goes down. Uh, otherwise, it could be a problem. All I need to do is get rid of Silbro, and then Turtonator, if I don't get in incredibly unlucky, beats Raikou and Volcarona on its own. So, I wanna sack off my Mammal Swine here. And then go into my um, Manaphy, I think. Do I go into Manaphy? I'm pretty sure I go into Manaphy. I do. Go into Manaphy and set up the Tegel. He doesn't have T Wave or anything of the sort, so we're all good in that regard. As he goes Raikou, and I'm just gonna Tegel up. And as I said, I can take a Z, a, a Z Thunderbolt, Gigabolt Hav Havoc. Um, so I can do that and just uh, knock him over with a Scald. If he is Assault Vest, he has a good chance of living this, actually. Uh, which is. Exactly where me not me getting paralyzed, like, I think three times, two three times against this Raikou, uh, was mildly unfortunate because he would have definitely been in range for a plus three Scald. Um, but it, I'm just gonna hope that I get the burn essentially at that point. So, um, and even then, uh, Mega Man Champ can come in and just claim a life if he uh, were to live the Scald and just go for t -Bolt. However, his play is more than likely just Volt switching here, so I'm just gonna fire off a Scald. He does go for Volt Switch, my Wakamberry pops. That does still. A fair amount, and he's gonna sack off his Slowbro. So, this is exactly what I wanted. Slowbro is gonna go down to the combination of Scald plus another Scald on the following turn. And now, it all it's all on Turtonator. <laughs> As I said, uh, Earthquake doesn't kill Raikou, right? doesn't run half to it, so that's a problem, uh, which is which is uh, what he's gonna bring in right now. So, I'm gonna sack off my mana fear, and now I'm gonna play it as safely as humanly possible so that Turtonator doesn't get hacks to shit. So, going to make a mana champ. Go for fake out, get the necessary damage off on the thing so that it is in guaranteed range for an earthquake. Sack of Mega Man Champ did a ton of work this game, put a lot of pressure on him, and now Turtonator is in, and Turtonator is gonna finish off this goddamn game for us. So I'm gonna fire off the earthquakes. He goes for Shadow Ball, hoping for the speed after drop. He does get the speed after drop though. So <sighs> if I if I fuck this up, if I like get really unlucky, this could still be a problem. So you guys get the speed after drop. I'm gonna go for Stone Edge here on the Volcarona, hopefully I hit. Uh, he goes for Fire Blast, gets 19% off, I miss the Stone Edge. 
Uh, at this point, I realized my best play is probably just clicking Earthquake. Um, so I opted to do that. And as you will see, it does actually break this. Uh, no, wait, sorry. I go for Stone Edge. <laughs> go for Stone Edge this time. I hit. And now I start going for Earthquakes, knowing that it's probably going to break this up. I don't think he is Fizz Death, uh, fully Fizz Death. So, uh, and as you can see, that does 28%. That does plenty. And if he doesn't crit me right here, the game is ours. He goes for the best. He doesn't crit us. He, we go for the Earthquake. And Turtonator takes the game. 1-0 for Bayern Munich in week 4 of the NPL. GG Sep. GG is a turtle, I guess. <laughs> I am I am so, so happy. Turtonator just put the team on its spiky, explosive back. And just pulled this game out for us. Uh, as that. Fantastic game, Sep. That was a really good game. A lot of fun. Definitely thoroughly enjoyed this match with all two little matching trainer sprites. How cute. Um, yeah, as it, make sure to check out Sep and his side of the match. Definitely going to be interesting to see um, his thought process and stuff. And... <sighs> Turtonator. <laughs> MVP for this match is certainly Turtonator. It killed the last two monster, two big threats to my team. It toxic the Slurbo, which was so huge. Uh, in this game. If a server wasn't toxic, this game would have been a lot more difficult and just turn out it everything I could have asked it to do and more. I'm so happy. This was probably the only game in the history of anything ever that turn is going to do something, but I am content with that. <laughs> so, I probably didn't mention everything in my commentary I wanted to, but I'm tired and I I have bad memory, so it's whatever. Um, but we beat one of the best teams in the league at the moment, for sure. A uh, very strong player with a very strong draft, so I'm happy. We <laughs> we made our stance in the NPL thing after this week, and we're not gonna stop now. This is not this is not where we stop at all. We're just going up. We're just going. We're aiming for the top. Just kidding. We're not. <laughs> we're aiming for the playoff spot, uh, and next week we're gonna try to establish that, get our third win under the belt, under our belt for the Bayern Munich. Uh, as we play Aberforth and his Brisbane Bray Loops. Brisbane? 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 I'm, I, Australian names, whatever. Um, yeah. Uh, not a very good player. He's actually currently, I'm not gonna say it, what his exact record, but he's doing really well. Uh, and yeah, that should be a good game for sure. He has the Ultra Beast squad. He has three Ultra Beasts on his team, plus Kiro, Mega Altaria, and a bunch of other stuff. So, very scary team, but. Uh, we won with a Turtonator this week. I think we can do anything. <laughs> so, that's gonna be it. Um, tell me what you think of the team and the matchup and the turtle. And yeah, as I said, make sure to check out Seth uh, as a fantasy player. Make sure to check out the NPL as well and all the other links in the description below. You definitely don't want to miss out on any of them. So, with that all being said, I want to thank you all for watching. Make sure to leave a like, leave a comment, leave some nudes. I will appreciate all three of those. Three of those, I fucked it up. <sighs> and hopefully, see you guys next time. Goodbye.